I've done my fair share of digging over the years to know that after a few days, the novelty starts to wear a bit thin and it can be a bit of a punish. But look, I'll give you a couple of tips anyway on shoveling. If you're loading the barrow, first of all, have the barrow facing in the direction you want to go when it's full. Get one of these long handled shovels, bend the knees, keep the back straight, shovel your soil, pivot the handle on the thigh there, and fill the barrow. Like that, you can go all day, but I tell you what, there's a much easier way. One of the great things about landscaping is the action. I love it. And usually, things happen quickly, and you get to see the fruits of your labour every day. I've got three ripping jobs to do today, so here I go. I've got some pipes to lay, so I need a trench about 600 mil deep. Now, with the shovel and the mattock, it's probably three or four days' work. Now, stuff that for a laugh with the kanga. I reckon I'll have it done in an hour. Beautiful. For this job, I'm going to set up the kanga's trench digging attachment. It's pretty easy. Just connect the trencher, connect the hydraulic pipes, and you're away. Now that the trench is dug and pipe is laid, it's time to backfill. So it's a quick change over to the bucket for the trench filling. There are loads of attachments for the Kanga loader with something for just about every job around the place. The four-in-one bucket is the go for picking up and moving bulk materials like sand, soil and gravel, plus heavy gear like rocks or machinery. You can move a few tonnes in no time at all. Laughing. For my last job, I'm going to be using the auger. Now, Kanga make a range of different sized augers. This one here is the 300. It's perfect for drilling post holes for things like fences and decks. It's got the width and it's got the depth. It's quick, and I tell you what, it's a lot easier than the shovel. One of my favourite palms is this one here, the Kentia palm, Howia forsteriana, native to Lord Howe Island. They are just magnificent, beautiful, graceful fronds that form this lovely symmetrical shape. And the trunk, look at that, beautiful. The green here, they tend to stay green in grown in the shade, but out in the full sun, they do darken off a bit. From time to time, you'll get fronds that are just dying or dead or damaged from the sun, and that's when you've got to prune them off. And the best tool, nice pair of loppers. Get that in there. And off she comes. More good tips after the break. <laughs> 